Or hey, let's call Bess and George. Maybe they have a hint. Let's call the Hardy Boys and Bess and George. Oh, uh, Bess and George. When you're stuck, Hello? always call Hi, Nancy's Bess. friends. Can you talk? Hey, Nancy, of course I can talk. I think she just wanted to make sure nothing on the stove was in danger of igniting. Everything safely on Simmer. What's up? Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. Yep. Jenna Good Devlin thinking. went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. What's her problem? I get the feeling she just basically doesn't like Katie very much. Sounds like a candidate for your suspect list to me. Everybody's on the suspect list, You know, list, Jenna okay? Devlin may have her faults, but being That's a bad cook the Nancy isn't Drew one games. of them. What kind of stuff does she cook? She's famous for her clam chowder, which is outstanding. Well, don't just stand there. Get me the recipe. I'm pretty sure it's a family secret. Does Jenna own the cafe or just run it? She inherited it. The place has been in the Devlin family for centuries. Whoa. Buildings that old are usually haunted, you know. Oh, boy. Here we go. Well, they are. I can't figure out if Andy Jason is friendly for real or if it's because he's basically a salesman. What does he sell? Whale watching tours. He keeps trying to talk Katie into selling her company to him and becoming his business partner. Think he wrecked her boat so she'd have to go into business with him? Could be. Katie is allowed to get right up next to the orca while he has to stay 300 feet away. He doesn't like that. I wouldn't trust him, Nan. Once a salesman, always a salesman. Remember my neighbor, Ray Olaf? He was a salesman, but he quit. Yeah, to go to work for a company that repossesses pets when people can't pay their vet bills. She's right. Don't trust him. <laughs> How are you guys fixed for hints? We promised Frank and Joe Hardy they could do the honors this time. Yeah, call them. They love it when you ask them for help. I better get going. Yes. You smell something burning. Shoot! Bye, Nance! <laughs> okay, well then, let's call the Hardy Boys, see if they have any hints. They probably don't, because I'm on senior mode, and they, Hello? I'm supposed Hi, to be Frank, a genius senior detective. Hey, Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone, it's Nancy! He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone, she's a something. Hey, Nancy, how's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. It is? No, it's not, Joe. Yes, it is. Not for Katie, of course. I mean for Nancy. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. Let me guess. That was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice <laughs> of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. Here's what I can ask. She eats a lot, she's not housebroken, or... She eats a lot and she's not housebroken. She's as big as an SUV, fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. What kind of dog is she? Hmm. Great Dane. Yikes! How does somebody go about losing a Great Dane? <laughs> Good question. Enough about us. Let's hear about this case of yours, Nancy. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's yep. right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure yeah. does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say a big brother to give his little brother for, like say his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. <laughs> Not that Frank is hinting at anything. I get the feeling that or even though Joe. Katie lives and I, works I, I, in I Snake Force Harbor, she's still pretty much an outsider. Why do you say that? Because frankly, nobody around here seems to like her very much. Like who? Like Jenna Devlin, the woman who owns the Hot Kettle Cafe. Why do you think she doesn't like her? She's convinced that Katie wants the orca captured instead of returned to her pod, and it drives her up the wall. Uh-oh. When emotions run high, so does the probability of bad behavior. Keep an eye on that one, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Andy Jason has a boat in a bottle that Katie says was made by a settler in the mid-1800s who would periodically and mysteriously disappear. 
Mysteriously? Whenever this ex-pirate would show up, Benjamin Hawkins, that was the settler's name, he'd vanish for days at a time. Nobody knows where he and his family hid. I know how he did it. Huh? How do you know? You know how he vanished? I know how he got the boat in the bottle. Oh. How? Can't tell you. Been sworn to secrecy. But I can tell you this. It does not involve any kind of shrinking machine. Oh. Boo. I have a hunch a piece of driftwood I found somehow ties into whatever's going on around here. It came from a ship called the SS something. That narrows it down. I'm assuming <laughs> the ship is now a shipwreck. I'm trying to find out its full name. And I become a bit of a wood detective in the process. What does a shipwreck have to do with a vandalized boat or an orphaned whale? Like Joe always says, leave no stone or suspicious piece of wood unturned. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Snake Horse Harbor has its very own sea monster. You're kidding me. Cadborosaurus. His or her nickname is Caddy. What does it look like? Like a very long fat snake with flippers, a head shaped like a horse's, and a back that humps when it swims. That pretty much describes everyone you've ever dated, doesn't it, Frank? It's oh! a descendant of a prehistoric reptile called Plesiosaurus. <laughs> Ow! You don't really think there's a sea monster out there, do you? Somebody oh. saw something or we wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh, and Joe, that thing about me giving you a GPS for your birthday, not gonna happen. My big mouth. Oh, still that was a. Oh man, that was a great joke. I need a hint. I still can't get into that box I found on the beach. Shoot, that reminds me. I mailed a letter and forgot to put the flag up. Maybe we should just spell it out for her. What do you think, Frank? Just give her the answer. I think we should nip that idea in the bud. Talk to you later. Be careful and have fun. Hmm. Well, I already figured out that it was flags. Um. Oh, Bud! Rosebud! That's it! The secret password we have to type is Rosebud. Okay, I got it. So let's figure out how to write Rosebud in maritime letters. Oh, there goes my hand. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay so Rosebud. Okay, so Rosebud is R O S E B U D. And we I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. Better write that down. P S P S P S. Lots of stuff. P S S P P S. S, S, P, P, S, P, P. Okay, got it all written down. And what's this? This is the weirdest story I've ever read. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is the phonetic alphabet again. Unfortunately, I've got that memorized off of Bravo Charlie Delta. So just all you have to do is, uh, Pick out the words that uh, are part of the alphabet. So, Alpha, Sierra, Kilo, um, Sierra, Alpha, uh, Juliet, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, not Gamma, nope, it's a uh, golf, that's G. And Love Dance, Fox, Trot, or for the main Oscar. Romeo Hotel India Riz Lima I was fine for Mrs. Smith because she wanted to live in Delta Alpha Sierra Gaul India Foxtrot Tango. So what I 
I get is ask. Okay, hold on a second. I'm confused now. This was a dog named Alpha. Then this is Alpha Sierra. Kilo. Oh, I forgot hotel. Hotel. That's one of the letters. Okay. S H S. So far, so good. Juliet. There are two Juliets. 